Hi, my name is Joel Solomon. I'm a prosperity coach, and my mission is to help at least 100,000 people become financially free so that they don't have to work if they don't want to. I teach people the basics of investing, stocks, bonds, real estate, currencies, and commodities. I also teach people about cash flow, budgeting, what your financial freedom number is and how to get there quicker, how to increase income and reduce expenses. And most interestingly, some people say, the third module is all about manifesting, how to create things from thoughts and how to shift your money mindset from poverty consciousness to prosperity consciousness, how to shift from lack and scarcity to abundance and prosperity. Now last week I talked about one of the themes from my upcoming book about the unconventional money rules and we talked about visualizing. And one of the questions I get a lot is, okay, well, you talk about visualizing and sitting home and, and thinking. Can I just sit home all day and think and visualize and meditate and create the life of my dreams? Because what am I doing? I'm not really doing anything if I'm sitting at home and visualizing. So let's answer that question here today because it's a key topic, it's a key theme for my book. So, can you just sit at home and visualize really not doing anything? Well, first of all, it's important to understand that sitting home, visualizing, meditating, thinking is not doing nothing. Focusing is harnessing the energy that creates worlds. That is something. Somebody focused. Focused has value. You can sit and focus and not feel good and nothing happens. Or you can sit and focus and feel ecstatic and really happy and have your vibration and energy be really, really high and your life will change magnificently. See, the power of your mind is the only power that matters. And all the other stuff you do is really from the pleasure of enhancing what you've already done with your mind. So the real power is the focus. And really calling that nothing is the farthest thing from being accurate. So it's not about the action you offer, it's all about your alignment with the dream. We talked about visualizing last week and if you could feel the feeling as if it's already happened, Wayne Dyer says, Make your future dream a present reality by assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. And what we're talking about here is tapping into the energy that creates worlds and having that flow th through your experience. So a really good place to start is to look around at the vast differences in the way that people are living their lives. The people that are working the hardest in terms of action are receiving the least. And the people who are working the least are receiving the most. Well, how do you reconcile that? You gotta ask yourself, do I take action? Or do I sit at home and just meditate and visualize and think? Now you have to understand that you've already created with all that you've been living and it's waiting for you, offering a signal and all you have to do is hone in on that signal. And you can tell when you're honing in on that signal by how you're feeling. Because you're feeling better, you're actually in alignment with that signal, you're closer to that dream becoming a reality. And you can tell when you're feeling closer because you're feeling lighter. And you can tell when you're really honed in because you believe. You believe that what you want is on its way. And when you're really truly honed in and you're really consistently honed in, hour after hour, day after day, then that's when you know. And you're getting goosebumps 
goosebumps and feeling the feeling because you know and it's just the anticipation of when is it gonna come. You just know that life is good and you just know everything's stable. So, when you're tuned into the energy that creates worlds, you're not gonna wanna sit home and just meditate all day. You wanna get, you wanna gonna get out into the world and take some action. You wanna talk to people. You wanna teach. You wanna get out and take action. But the inspiration comes first and the action second. The action doesn't create. So that's my lesson for today. The difference between taking action and focusing, meditating, visualizing. So thanks for watching. Please put your comments, share below. And again, you can email me on joelsolomon.com or solomore.com, that's S-A-L-A-U-R-M-O-R.com, named after my daughters, Lauren and Morgan. So thanks for watching. I believe in you.